everyone. Uh, okay, the uh, recording didn't quite start when I thought. Okay, so again, hi. Um, <laughs> this is still Hero's Test, and look at this madness. Um, okay, so a few things here. Uh, we don't have Dantaris with us. I am exceedingly good at getting him, at getting him killed, apparently. Also, Pen, uh, miraculously, at unpromoted level 2, is um, really easy to kill <laughs> by just about everything everywhere in this dungeon. Uh, now, before I attack you with Frank, uh, let me just show you one, one more thing. Um, you... well, talk about, really. Um, of course, you know, you, maybe you remember how there were two of these before? Now there's only one, and that is part of the reason why I don't have any Dantaris with me. Also, the reason I have no Murasame. Um, <laughs> the blue dragon also went the way of the dodo, but... Um, a funny story. Uh, the first thing I did when I came to this floor was to bring Symbios out front to this uh, square that uh, Justin is standing on right here. Uh, that had the fascinating consequence that the Skull Mage came up and uh, cast a Soul Steel level 2 in my face, which is normally quite terrifying, but this is the really big hairy sort of butt here. <laughs> and you know how Aura and uh, Spark has three range, right? So one. Two and three. Oh. Huh? What is this shenanigans? I swear, this guy can cast Spark level 3. Has been able to do so all the battle. Never did it once. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, the, the point I was worried about was Aura level 3. It doesn't heal, heal. It doesn't heal you up to full or the target. Uh, but yeah, if your target has um, 800 hit points, you don't want them healed. So it is very good that he is out of range of the healer. That has helped me a lot. Also, it has kept most of my force out of the range of Spark level three, which is that much better. Look at that, Frank MVP, nearly. Oh, this is going great. This is great. Schmack. Will I get the kill with Symbios? Oh, 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 wait, oh, 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 Mr. Yak? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, yeah, I, I'm okay after the noise. Get wrecked, get shit wrecked. Oh man, oh, that was good. That felt so good. Uh, well, I th think you probably uh, figured that out. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've been in here. Um, well, this is a crummy situation. Uh, well, I will drop the whole yak, punk, whatever thing. And get the justice sword. And guess who gets the justice sword? Oh, you have something to say. Well done, Symbios. You have surmounted overwhelming odds in completing this trial. I'm confident you can save Aspia. Three cheers for... Oh, you... I still don't have control. So... Okay. 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 
Now, oh man, there's a lot to do. Uh, first of all, we are very nearly at the final battle. I'm just going to move stuff around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, at least Antares is level 11. Almost something. Uh, let's see, I shall give this... Huh. I want to give it to Noon, actually. I will do it like this, then. Got this. I shall give this to Symbios. In return for that. And there will be shenanigans. Now, let's see how mighty, mighty, mighty this um, Justice Sword is. Okay, Shiva Sword, very strong. Phoenix Sword, equally strong. I was expecting more than one additional attack, but hey, that was strong. So he has 49 defense. And uh, Tantaris only has 36. Which is actually weaker than Masquerin for whatever reason, but hey, Masquerin has the Platinum Circlet, which adds 4 to the to defense. So, yeah, Dantaris still has one more base defense than Masquerin. Two levels lower. So, yeah, it's okay. It's no major disappointment there. Um, hmm, actually, can I uh, backtrack like this? Okay, can't be done. Never mind. So, we have a few more things to do back in... Uh, uh, what's the name of the place again? Mallory. That's right. Uh, and now that we've done the hero's test... It's... Yeah. The only thing left to deal with is the final battle. I will start on the final battle of this episode. Um, I will not finish it, of course. But, um, yeah. Holy shit, son. <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. I thought it would take... Well, a few more runs around the, <laughs> runs around the hero's test. First, let's just revive a few people and um, mess around with the force. So well, the force roster, so I can have my scrubs up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and more asame. Oh, ha! Already. You know th that that was really not the uh, second or third time. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the hero's test. Ah, uh, it's been a never-ending frustration. And I just keep getting Dantaris killed. It's mad. Also, at some point I got a little fright. Um, um, specifically, there was a read error on the CD. Now, uh, I had to... Uh, Repatch and uh, yeah, burn the image again because the uh, version I had was well, it, it had some uh, mixed up messages. That's uh, I, I think I pointed that out in the episode before I well, the first heroes episode that's two episodes back, so that was a mistake on my part. Um, yeah, oops. <laughs> So, what special attack do we get from this, I wonder? Well, Notaris, you don't need to. Um, yeah, I bought an evil ring and for some unfathomable reason I gave it to Notaris. Uh, I don't think it's clever that he keeps it. <laughs> okay. I shall not have Grace carry this. I will have to remember to give it to someone, though. Uh, 
Carlos still has the spark glove, that is okay. No, you are going to get something nice. Okay. Uh, who can I give this to? Elgar already has one. Okay, I'll give it to Frank and then sell it. Yeah, this has utility. I'll give it to Dantara so he can take it to wherever he's going. Use it and uh, yeah, it will be great or something. Now, this goes to noon. Holy shit, this is not a strong thing, but it doesn't have to be. I want to deposit the just wand. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep it. Ooh. And Pen can use that for the promotion. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. This is not an indication of can actually use it. Hmm. I kind of want to give it to someone who will be on the... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, God damn it. <laughs> um, well, okay, never mind. I will go and do something else first. Finding invited us to have a word with uh, Tristan and um, what's your name again? Let's go and do that right now. They're living upstairs. They are no longer locked away. There they are. So let's go with their room first. <laughs> Classy. Uh huh. Over there. Over there. There. Yeah. There. Okay. Well, screw that then. Oh, can I look at the painting? Nope. Q cutscene. And Q is the water. Ah, uh, Margaret's your name. I'm relieved you have returned on Palmer Symbios. From the moment I was told of your journey, I have been very worried. Yeah, I was killed by Braff a few times, but I just got it sorted. Lady Margaret, please feel at ease. Your brother has proven himself in battle and has become a great general. Oh, so Margaret my sister. And Margaret is... No. Word. It's, they do things. <laughs> they happen to beat them. Right, that's, that's, that's what they do. Oh, I can never feel at ease with Sundos being so reckless. Hey! <laughs> what? Well, it was just a skull mate. They were just... He came up to me. It's his damn fault. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to ask you all by himself. Nah, yeah, okay. Maybe that was reckless, but... Yeah. That, that skull mate... To totally his idea. Not mine. I have nothing to do with it. I appreciate your intention to rescue Arjun. Even so, following father's death and Thagard, I, I can't bear to lose my little brother, too. Oh, she's my older sister. Huh, fancy that. Also, Tristan his name. Did I call him Tristan before? <laughs> what Margaret is trying to say is your father, Lord Conrad, was not the kind of man to take uncalculated risks. Oh, rub it in, why don't you? If it were me, that would be one thing, but Margaret can't bear the thought of something happening to her brother. Huh. 
However, if Duke pulses, Lord Conrad's trusted advisor, travels with you, you must have some chance of success. Ah, the votes of confidence come fast and thick in this game, don't they? To be honest, in this situation, there really is no other choice. Yeah, thanks. I have justice or with your name on it, dude. Many important lords and generals of the Republic have been defeated or betrayed. Uh, some by me, I might add. This seems like the only option. According to Finding, Aspia Castle was occupied by the Imperial Army with soldiers on both sides of the moat. In addition to the soldiers, now that the Bolzom sect is involved, the Titan patrols the moat. In this dire situation, is there any hope of regaining control of that stout castle? Also of a great concern is the safety of Master Algernon. Uh, yeah, never mind the kingdom that will be destroyed by the Titan if we don't do something. Let's all be concerned about this little prince. I mean, not that killing children is okay, but... I mean, let's face it. That prince is one life. Which, okay, we, it would be nice if we could, like, save our nephew or whatever he is. But, um... His life should not be more important than, well, fighting off the Bolson sect, frankly. So, should I advance my army into Aspia, endangering the life of my son Arjunov? Uh, that would give me some backup while I go and mess with the Titan, you know? Because it helps tip the scales. Yes? No matter how, you, how brave the Mallory army may be against the Imperial army and the Titan, there would be little hope. Oh, so we have more hope? Oh, shut the fuck up, Pulses. <laughs> oh, good fucking grief, I don't remember there, there being so much to be gloom. I would not consider it wise for you to advance your army and risk your son's life for a hopeless cause. Well, I mean, I, I guess there's that little point about... Uh, Big armies moving slowly and being very visible, so the Wilson Sect will have a lot of time to, well, endanger the life of Algernon, which would be bad. Uh, whereas Symbios is just one military unit. Uh, well, one tiny military unit, by the way, so we can move quickly in uh, less chance of being spotted. That is a point. One that I honestly don't think should be a good one in this case. If that's so, what should we do? Or are you saying it's impossible to regain control of Latvia to pulses? I have a plan. Um, I, I just had a slightly urgent email that I glanced at that. Um, but it's okay. While we were in the ruins, Pulses spoke of implementing the... Is that what you were talking about? Implementing what? Say what? Why? Without Posanda and her staff controlling the Titan, we understand it will attack both Imperial and Republic troops. This would appear to be corroborated by the information Finding shared with us. To avoid being attacked by the Titan, the Imperial army is split. Half on either side of the moat. I see. The Titan views everyone as enemies. We still must defeat both it and the Imperials. Uh, just one tiny thing here. I do believe the Titan has at least 600 hit points. I ain't touching it. The Skullmate was bad enough. But, uh,. We are going to be up against a lot of them, okay? It seems the Titan appears when the people cross the moat on the stone bridge. We can take advantage of that. Of that. Using the Titan to defeat the Imperial Army, how could we pull that off? I see, the Titan is slow enough that if we pretend to rescue Algernon, we can lure the Imperial units onto the bridge. 
Um, oh, oh, okay, uh, battle on the big bridge, check, got it. But when a horrid thing appears, it will not. Sorry, it will attack one of the Imperials, but you as well. Yep, that is very accurate. We will use the water to defeat the Titan. Oh, um, I misread that a bit. Use water to defeat? How do you mean, Pulses? We will send a second battalion to open the spillway on the dam. The force of the water will destroy the Titan in a moment. What a brilliant idea! Even the Titan can't withstand the immense force of the water when it is released from the dam. What about the decoys? They can hide behind the wall of the bridge, but how will they know when the water has been released? We'll send a smoke signal when we release the water. If they hurry, they will be safe from the water's fury. <coughs> Gimmick? There's another Imperial unit on the way, but they are still far south of storage. I recommend we hurry, Lord Tristus. I entrust you with the future of our public, Lord Symbios. Wrest control of Fair Aspia from those Imperials, why? Oh, uh, incidentally, that Imperial unit uh, that was south of storage... I have a feeling that this is actually Medion's uh, party. Uh, just, you know, take a moment and meditate on how uh, these different groups, uh, how their paths are uh, woven together. Uh, now, Julian made a very short appearance, this is true. Uh, but he's going to, well, be a thing in a, in a scenario two as well. Uh, more on that when we get there, I suppose. No point in discussing them. I know quite a lot about the dam, so I will guide you to it. God damn. He. Yes, I watched the Beavis and Butte do America. Yes, surprisingly funny move. Um, and surprisingly clever. But I guess the, uh, <laughs> the expectations are kind of stacked against it. Leave the release of the dam and the smoke signal to me. Okay. Um, actually, maybe. did Finn join the party here? That would help. No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, wait, can I speak to you some more? Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of keys, I kind of gave it away to zero, but that's not the key I'm talking about, I guess. <sighs> oh, my crown and sister. Okay, at least you have faith in me. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the, these things. <laughs> okay. So, preparations. We have Finding in the party. Uh, I don't remember if he uses swords or wings, but I think it, he carries a sword. So, let's see if we can give him the surplus. Uh, Shiva sword. That's, yeah, Shiva sword. That's the thing. Hello, Finding. Let's have a look at your stats stuff. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Okay. Foil. Not fantastic. That's a rapier. So he won't be doing much good with the sword. But let's give it to him anyway. Actually, yeah, Irene goes. I I'll take Irene up to the dam and have Grace and Khan with the main group. No, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Um, 
Wow, really all these things. So many things. And yeah, I gave Pen a healing drop. Why? I have no idea. But Pen may be able to heal someone before he croaks. Okay. Rose. Got it. Okay. Okay. Heal sword. Give to Vinding. He can equip it. Good. I won't equip him with it though. Finding can also be equipped with this. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, why don't I give this to Finding too? I'm just giving a lot of stuff to lots of people. Okay, these I will give to someone and sell them. I still have 10 in the party. So I will drop all the items on him. Hmm. That's almost clever. Now I shall give this to Finding and I will make him a foil. I are smart. Um, okay, I will give this to Cinders. Maybe this to Grace will love having that. should have one, but... Oh well. Let's see, who would be joining up there? Eh, okay, let's do that later. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, treasure, right? I need fitting the party to make weapons for me. And I need Pen and the party to sell all his gear. I'll take my soul for Guitaras. Alvar for Hayward. Noon for Maskerin. Cough for Irene. Um, we will probably need this uh, um, defense boost thing, I forget what it's called, that Khan has. That's the reason for that. Swap Ratchet for Pen when we're done with this little exercise. Do the thing. <sighs> okay, let's see. Final mithril smithing in the game. Let's see what happens.
this rapier. Doesn't seem like a very strong piece of equipment. Okay. <laughs> Slightly stronger if you carry rapiers. He will equip that straight away. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't checked out uh, what fancy pants new special attack we have. Oh, Dazzle Age. Can't really check out what it does. But, um, I'm pretty sure it'll be spectacular. And noisy. And all the things. Uh, okay, so yeah, probably we won't get to actually start the last battle, but we'll get part of the way there at least. I just uh, check the timing and. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay, so all these things. I mean, the Gungnir Lance is really good, but I have actually stronger equipment for all of us. That's, um, it makes me a little sad, actually. I will also have to give potions to people. It is the final battle, so I might as well, you know, make good use of it. Critical plus five and special attack. Hmm. I have misgivings to be quite honest, but well, I think it'll work out. Ah, uh -huh. oh. Oh yeah, um, I uh, just uh, checked ahead. Uh, well, I did. Uh, while, while it is technically the final battle, I have, you know, JRPG tropes and all that, I guess. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fending gaps. I want my Murasame and you. Swap with you. Oh yeah. We want potions distributed uh, liberally. Let's see. One for you. really confident <laughs> about going into the final battle without uh, that one little thing there. The um, last goddess tier. <sighs> okay, everyone, final save before heading into the last battle. boys and girls we doing this we good Again. 
Um, oh yeah, that's right. I didn't tell you this, but uh, Maskerin gained Blaze level four while we were out. Uh, while we were out smacking things in the uh, arrows test. Um, she also well, she didn't get Spark level four, but she is pretty badass with what she has. Oh, hello! Look at this. Let's see. The water from the dam is key to defeating the Titan. I'm sure the Imperial Army has guards posted. Be extremely cautious as you pr proceed with your mission. Once we release the water, we'll send up a signal. Uh, hey. Aren't these messages supposed to be swapped? So, Pauls has said the previous message and Finding said this? The success of this mission depends on our teamwork. To be safe, let me give you this. Pauls has received a calling whistle. What? What? Hey, what was... I... I... What? Ah, oh yeah. Right. They do the smoke signal, we do the whistle. If you need to retreat for any reason, use that and I'll meet up with you here. I think Finding's portal was supposed to be with the other message there. Well, I'll... Let us... Well, I I'll let the... Uh, uh, retranslation guys know. Let us proceed as well, Symbios. Before the final showdown with the Imperial Army, is there anything you still need to do, Symbios? Oh, fantastic. Well, 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 well. Okay. Maybe it's just as well I don't do the entire final fight with this sex message <laughs> in the way. Oh, okay, it disappears at area transition. Good. Look in the moat, Symbios. It's our Titan. It seems the Titan is at the bottom of the moat. If it were to get loose and run amok, the capital would be doomed. Hey, I see you there. If you're planning an attack, forget it. Even if the Titan is out of control, you can't win. So, Symbio shows his face. Huh, haven't seen you since Ireland, I think. You rescued Benetrim and have managed to overcome every obstacle you've thrown at you. You even defeated Basanda. Yeah, she totally had it coming. Since we lost control of the Titan, we haven't been able to cross the bridge, but it seems you found a secret passage. Um. Oops. Even without Basanda, I will crush the Republic and take my true place as Emperor. I'll even keep my promise to Trista see if he keeps his. Uncle Symbios, don't worry about me. That giant in the moat gets too dangerous. Please go back. Well, this is dark, actually. That's my nephew. And he's, like, on a far over a moat in which there's a great big mechanical monster. Yeah. Stakes are high. Even without the Titan, we far outnumber you. You won't survive, much less rescue your precious nephew. Uh, well, that's only partially true. They won't outnumber you on the map, but they will get a continuous uh, response. Which is what makes this part of the battle very tough. It's going to be a real grudge match. Soldiers, intercept the Symbiote army. We must hold them until the bolts of reinforcements arrive. Just as I thought, Prince Armand will sacrifice his army to prevent us from rescuing Algernon. 
Let's wreck some face. Engage the Imperials until Finding's signal and keep casualties to a minimum. The Republic's fate is here. Keep casualties to a minimum. You did not need to tell me that, good sir. And at the same time... So, the Republicans come have arrived. I don't know what they want with this dam, but we are here to repel them. Chris Van Lant deployed us here on a tip from Basanda. The Republicans were not expecting us, so we have the brand. Mr. Roth was skeptical, so we only sent one battalion, but we are more than enough to defeat this pathetic lot. No, they die! The dam is defended as expected, but we should be able to handle them. Defeat the, defend the defenders on the dam. We must release the, the water to help Symbios and the others defeat the Titan. Okay, I am about to end the episode, but I want to go through a few things. Um, let's see, first I'll just have a look here. You are a kick breaker. Uh, the keen observer may notice that the Arant is nowhere to be found. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe that cast as a bit of a hint for you with the nature of this battle. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I should check out? Um, no. So, they have six people over here, they have six people over there, and a thirteenth out here. In the following Griffin. At some point, uh, the Titan, which we cannot see for some reason, Oh, there, there it is. Will, of course, wake up. Or rise. Uh, yeah, you'll have to see for that. You'll have to see that for yourself. It mm, looks really silly, but um, this fight is just something else. Also, uh, when you do release the water up there, you must get within. Well, you must stand somewhere between here and here, uh, the edge of these uh, heightened walls. I'm not sure if you're safe up here at the top of the stairs, but I honestly don't think you are. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, there should be enough space in here anyway. So, uh, the other gimmick is that uh, this fight has two parts. Uh, okay, so we fight both here and up on the mountain um, in turns. Let's see, maybe uh, I have time to show you. Oh wait, can I just put... Um, yeah, I'm just... Oh well. <laughs> LR will be hard to level, but that's okay. LR has the white ring, so she's tougher than she looks. Which I suppose is the same all that much. Ah, uh, whatever. So this is my scrub brigade. If I win this um, battle for, at the first try, I, I don't know. I, I, I just no, not, not, not a. It's not a possibility that I will entertain, cons um, considering the possibility of seeing <laughs> come 
to fruition. Word salad. Good stuff. Okay. Horsey boy. Now we see the uh, new field of battle. Let's see, that's not a thing. Okay. So I actually like this little touch here. Uh, that you have the river, right? And you have this dam, but also this little uh, limnic bit. Oh. I guess Camelot didn't expect us to go this far out. Okay, uh, forget you saw all that. Up here we have a bunch of enemies. Oh, up here we have just a few enemies. Silver Knights though are fairly tough. Um. Oh, no time like the present. So, okay, I'll just uh, end the episode here. Um, so, when we get to this bridge, uh, yeah, I think that's when uh, these will start to move. And, uh, yeah, it'll be crazy. Here is the thing that we need to, uh, well, the wheel here, we need to go up here and interact with it. I'm not sure if we need to fight if we fight, oh, if we need to fight and kill this boss here, to do that, but um, yeah, when we uh, turn that wheel, that's when things will get crazy. Okay, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, join me for the. Final battle of scenario one, um, or something. Until next time, it's been pretty awesome.